how sweet it is is a good example. We were, you know, trying to figure out a cover song. And Russ uh, said, how about how, how sweet it is? And I said, Russ, come on, you know, Marvin Gage and your Walker in a period of two or three years. How many times can we do that? And Russ, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. And then I, I, my first idea was stubborn kind of fella. I said, yeah. let's do that. And everybody went, no. No. <laughs> no. But it was Marvin Gaye. So uh, we're, you know, moving along, working late. One night, uh, we left the studio like one in the morning, and I had this hit station on. And How Sweet It Is comes on. Now it's late, and I'm out there, you know. Um, and I thought, oh my God, if James sings that song, yeah, it'll be unbelievable if we can just get it, you know. So I remember I either called Russ or I saw him the next day, and I said, "You were right. You were right. Let's 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 do it." And then we put together a band, but we used two drummers. We had Keltner and Russ. Right. And we, we were lucky because they had so much mutual respect. They, they themselves figured out what they were doing. Mm. And all of a sudden, this thing starts to feel good. Uh, and then we had Clarence. Yep. Who, Clarence McDonald played the piano. Motown guy. Yeah. So he had the piano part down. And uh, Danny did this. Uh, Sort of upbeat. The, uh, the Curtis thing. The yeah, it's, we, it's all right. So we were able. We were able to get the uh, the it's all right yeah. thing in there anyway. Yeah. Think about that room. The talent in that room. You had James. You know. You had Danny. You had Lee. Lee. Russ. Russ Keltner. Keltner. Clarence. Wow. Thirty minutes. Yeah. Thirty. Forty. I remember. I think I said to you, uh, let's the. Let's just keep going to make it look like we're doing something. <laughs>